the LightBo Termination Kit provides all the tools necessary to perform a successful fiber termination. Buffer stripper, jacket stripper, Kevlar scissors, precision rotary cleaver, electrical tape, termination tool, visual fault locator, marker, tweezers, strip template, and alcohol wipes. An included lanyard can also be used on the tool. The strip template card has both an SC side and an LC side. To begin, open the tool, select connector. In this case, it's an SC connector. Place into the SC pocket in the tool, close the lid, press firmly until an audible click is heard, and then slip the lock collar forward. Place the boot on the 900 micron fiber and pull it back out of the way. Next, place the fiber on the strip template card. The first mark will be the reference dot at the back of the connector. The second will be the buffer strip length mark. A strip template is also located on the side of the termination tool in the event strip template card is misplaced or unavailable. Both SC and LC lengths are represented. Using the 900 micron buffer strippers, remove quarter inch sections at a time to avoid breaking the fiber. Using the provided alcohol wipe, clean the fiber to remove any debris. Next we are ready to use the rotary precision cleaver. Take the prepared fiber and place it into the 900 micron guide slot, the larger of the two. The end of the buffer should be placed at the 10 millimeter mark on the cleaver. Using your finger to hold the fiber in place, close the debris cover and the main cover of the cleaver. The fiber is now immobilized in the cleaver. Press down on the main cover to activate the cleaver. After the cleave process is complete, open the main cover. Place the cleave fiber into the SC guide slot in the LiPo termination tool. Please note that both SC and LC positions are located in the tool. Gently slide the fiber forward into the back of the connector. The fiber reference mark will be at the back of the connector and a slight tension bow will maintain pressure as the cover is opened. The connector can now be removed. After the connector has been terminated, use the 0.5 milliwatt VFL to verify the validity of the termination. Remove the dust cap and place the end face of the SC connector as shown into the end of the VFL. After turning the VFL on, observe the VFL window located closest to the end face of the connector for a bright red glowing light. If no light or a very faint glow is detected, the termination is good and the dust cap can be put back into place. When performing an LC termination, it will be necessary to use the LC adapter in the VFL. Place the adapter in the end of the VFL and then place the LC connector into the end of the adapter as shown here. Once the quality of the termination has been established, it is now time to finish the connector. Carefully slide the boot onto the connector to avoid damaging the fiber. The VFL can be used for troubleshooting. Notice the VFL window is glowing red, showing an open connection. When an issue has been detected with the connector using the VFL, it is possible to place the connector back into the tool and adjust the termination. Place the connector into the tool and slide the cover forward into the lock position. Slowly rotate the fiber roughly a quarter of a rotation. Place the tension loop back into place and open the tool to remove the connector. If it does not improve the condition, it can be re-terminated one additional time. Lastly, the tool should be free of dirt and debris and should be periodically checked for wear, specifically the termination fins present in the clear plastic cover, as this will affect the tool's ability to terminate the connector correctly.